If our goal is to look up the intersecting value, we could use a range, space, that's the intersection operator, a second range, and when I hit Enter, that looks up the value. But as we talked about in the last few videos, if I change the column for the intersection, well, formulas like VLOOKUP and MATCH and INDEX and MATCH, those will update, but that will not. There is a way to use the space operator, but they are not efficient like these two formulas. But just for fun, let's create some silly formulas. All right, you ready? Equals index. We're going to take the entire range, comma, and for row number, I'm going to try and look up Aspen. So we use the match function. Look up value Aspen. Look up range. Product names, comma, zero, because we're doing exact match, comma. But guess what? Column number, if we leave that argument empty or put a zero, I'm going to leave it empty. When I close parentheses, by leaving it empty, it says give me all the columns. We have the number for the row, all the columns. Now, if I come to the end and hit the F9 key, we've looked up that entire row. Control Z, because we used match, we have a dynamic way to look up whatever row we want. Now we type a space and do the same formula, but for the column lookup. Comma, row number is left empty, so we get all the rows. Comma, and now we use match to look up the month. Comma, zero, close parentheses, close parentheses. And that crazy formula, when I hit Enter, just like these two more efficient, easier to create formulas, will totally update using the space operator. Now, there's another way we could do this. And actually, I have a few videos from back in 2008 and 2009 that showed this next really complicated method for two-way lookup. The first thing we need to do is I need to quickly name each one of these columns, whatever's at the column header, and each one on the rows, whatever's at the head of the row. So I'm going to highlight this entire range. And rather than going up to Formulas, Create Names from Selection, I'm going to use the keyboard Control-Shift-F3. This quickly creates defined names. By using top row, it'll name every one of the columns, whatever's at the top of the row, and the left column. That will be the name for our rows. Click OK. Up in the name box, I have a lot of names now. Now I'm simply going to take, since that Aspen is the name of this row right here, I'm going to say that cell space that cell. And when I hit Enter, I get a null because that's text. This formula right here does not understand that text as a proper reference. But there's a function, the indirect function. Its only purpose is to take text that represents a reference and convert it to a reference. So we can use indirect, indirect with that space. And now we have another dynamic method. When I change this to May, boom, it works. When I come up and change it to Majestic Butte, what happens? Well, you can't have a space and a defined name. If you go up here, we can see that it inserted an underscore. So there's no spaces in month, but there are some spaces in product. So right there, I'm going to use the substitute function. Take that text, comma. The old text is a space in double quotes, comma. The new text is an underscore in double quotes. Close parentheses, and now it will work. If I select Crested Butte, totally works. If I select Carlota, totally works. I'm going with VLOOKUP and MATCH or INDEX MATCH MATCH. All of these formulas here and the space operator are cool things to know, mostly to show off as a party trick. All right, let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you next video. Thank you.